So I actually did have a video prepared for this vlog, but then when I was uploading a video for one of my clients on YouTube, I saw this sentence which says, select files to upload or go to the new studio uploader for the latest features and a more reliable experience. This is not a completely new feature, it's been around for a while, but it's rolled out in little sequences, so I just got that, and now I'm making a video about that. Hey yo, my name is Ian and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. As you just heard, we're doing a video on the new upload studio upload feature. So obviously I clicked the new studio uploader link and it took me to the YouTube studio beta. It's still called the beta studio, even though it's been around for quite a while. So it takes me to the studio and I see just this little window, very neat, very tidy. And it just has a select file button or you can drag your video in there. Or obviously you can close it if you change your mind and you don't want to upload. So I drag the video on here and all of a sudden and I'm in this new interface which looks again very neat and clean but also straightforward with like all the features right at hand you don't have to you know go searching for anything have hidden tabs like you had in the classic uploader right here you have the title of the video and you have the description I have to confess the description box could be a little bit bigger because sometimes you have long descriptions and having to scroll three lines at a time can be pretty annoying underneath that of course you have the little thumbnail box and on the side right off the bat you have the YouTube link which you can already send to someone if they're anticipating your video or whatever else you use it for at this stage. Now honestly I might have included the visibility and maybe even the playlist on the first page because those are like the bare bones of uploading a video and they left its visibility all the way to the last step which I guess has a reason of its own, but I think I'd prefer it on the first page. Now, as the video is uploading, as you can see the progress bar here in the top right corner, you can already select the next step, which has a bunch of other options like the playlist. Here you can right away select the language and subtitles. Uh, the end screen and cards tabs are still um, left out. They're blank. You can't click them until the video is processed. Although later when I did leave the video to process and I came back here trying to edit the cards and the end screen from the upload tab, they were still blanked out and I couldn't click on them. So you still have to go the old route of first uploading your video and then clicking on it, editing it, and then going to the cards and end screen, which I guess they'll streamline that eventually. Obviously, you also have the tags here, the categories, you can select your location and the recording date for whatever reason you might need that, license, um, some extra settings, age restriction, embedding, things like that, and of course, whether you want to allow comments and ratings on the video. Now this part I particularly like because it's all right there in front of you. In a couple clicks you're done before you have to go switch tabs, scroll down, look around, find these hidden options here. It's literally, it's like a straightforward part of every time you upload a video. And last but definitely not least is whether you want your video to be public, private, unlisted or obviously scheduled or set as a premiere. Like I mentioned before this for me is some of the most important settings so I would put it on the first page. I guess it says preview and publish so you can first preview your video and then decide whether it's private or public. I don't know. Now props to YouTube of course they've been doing this whole visual interface recreation for quite a while now I think it's been a couple years and the upload window is I think the last part of that everything else has been changed just the upload window has been the old style for a while now they have this new beta one and I, I really like the feel of it I, I again just to be repetitive I just like how straightforward it is no hassle you're done in seconds you have all your options there minus cards and, and end screen which are important but honestly even I've been leaving them out of my videos lately just because I'm lazy to go in and set them up so that will change soon that will change it will it will it will change you it will change and that is the new YouTube upload video 2019 feature I hope that if you didn't know about it before now you know about it and you are better off for it if you didn't know how to use it, I hope you got a little bit of insight how to use it. If this is completely irrelevant, I'm sorry you ended up here. But either way, all of you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys next week. And check out what I was experimenting with in this video. Huh? Oops. It died.